The Facebook Live Video app provides an alternate way to create a video for your Assignment 1. There are two ways to begin the process. When you open Facebook, you most likely will be on your timeline. In this case, simply click the Live Video tab on your Status Update box. The next window provides a preview of your video. Hitting the Back button, let's click on the Home tab. To begin live video on this page, click on the three dots and then select Live Video. You again will be taken to the Preview and Setup page. The options on the right allow you to choose where the video will appear. Here, Timeline is selected. For privacy, select Only Me. You can also choose Camera if you have more than one connected. And the same for microphones. Once your selections are made, click on Go Live. After the 3, 2, 1 countdown, record your presentation. Hi, this is David Taylor, Assignment 1 for Business Communications 505. In this presentation, I'd like to talk briefly about leadership values that are important to me, a leader whom I admire, and what winning means to me. When finished, click End Live Video. You'll then be asked to confirm that you want to end the session. Click on End. Facebook then saves your video and begins the rendering process. Click on Done. Notice that we're now back on the timeline. However, the video has not yet appeared because it hasn't finished rendering. The time required for the rendering process depends upon the length of the video. A two to three minute video can take several minutes to render. Continue to refresh the page until the rendered video appears on your timeline. Once the rendered video appears, click on the timestamp, which in this case says just now. You'll then be taken to the download page. Click on the three dots in the upper right corner. From the menu that appears, select Download Video. The video will then begin playing on a new page. Drag your pointer to the bottom of the frame so that the video controls appear. Once again, click on the three dots. This time when you select Download, you'll see the video begin to download to your computer. After the video has completed its download, locate it on your computer. Delete the video's Facebook numeric code and replace it with a descriptive name. Note that the video has been downloaded as an MP4 file and is now ready for uploading to Blackboard. To upload your video to Blackboard, click on Week 3, then scroll down to Assignment 1. Click on Assignment 1 and you'll be taken to the Submission area. In the Submission window that appears, click on Browse My Computer. Then select the video you created and click Open. You'll be returned to the submission page. Scroll to the bottom and click on Submit. Remember, you're uploading a video and it may require 5 to 10 minutes to complete uploading. Click Submit only once and then wait patiently for your submission confirmation.